So to make the tangjong dough, we put 15 grams of flour. I'm doubling the recipe here. So, and you want it to be on medium to low heat. So 15 grams of water, 35 grams of milk, I mean flour, and then 35 grams of milk, and then also 35 grams of water. So if you don't, if you're dairy intolerant, you can just use all water, that is fine. So you want to mix it all. I think it's better to use a whisk actually. I will do that until it gets thick. So whisk it all in on medium heat until it turns into a paste. So essentially you're cooking the flour. This is the same kind of thing that you would do for to make a rux, to make like um, uh, mac and cheese and creamy sauce and similar. Okay, so keep stirring. You don't want to walk away. You want to keep stirring. You can see that it's thickening up on this side. So I'm gonna turn instead of a whisk, I can use the spatula. Make sure the heat is very low. You don't want to burn anything. So when it comes to paste like this, this is actually good enough. So you can turn up the heat and let it cool. We don't want to put the hot dough inside our ingredients because then it'll cook the other flour. We don't want the other flour to be cooked. We only want this chunk. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it to cool. Add all the dry ingredients into the bowl, in the mixing bowl, add the egg, and then your bloom, um, bloom yeast. And also add in your tang jong dough. It is now cool, so it's not hot anymore.
Okay, so my dough has more than double. Um, so now I have to punch okay. down. So actually, I should have performed the dough test for you. When you poke, it's ready when you poke the, your finger in. You put a little um, flour on it, and the, the instant stays. Then your dough is ready. So here, I, you will have to punch down. You gotta get all the gas out of this dough. Okay, punch down. So make it smaller or back to its original size. So this recipe, um, because I made two, two recipes, um, this is a really huge dough. So I'm gonna make the milk bread, and then I'm also gonna make hot dog bread bows um, that are um, the Asian bakery hot dog bows. So you can, you wanna grease your counter. Actually, I didn't grease it enough. So you wanna punch down, punch down, punch down. Okay. So I'm gonna wait to see how much and how much dough to put in. 1,016, I mean 1,316. I want to make the milk bread a little bit bigger, so I'm going to give it more than half of the recipe. I'm going to give it 700 gram or so. Oh, look at that, almost. So yeah, I'm gonna, so this one, so this one I'm gonna make, I'm gonna cover it and use it to make hot dog bows and this one, or you can make, use it to make um, dinner rolls. It's very versatile, but right now I'm gonna show you how to shape for milk bread. So now, now that we are, this dough is for milk bread, I'm gonna divide it into four about it in half, and then in another half. Okay, four pieces. We're gonna make, gonna put it aside. Then you want to, um, see it's very supple, this dough, I love it, I love it. You can hear when I squeeze out, I don't know, you can hear it. I was... No, you can't hear it, but um, you, when you squeeze that, you can hear the air bubble pop. So now you want to make it flat. So you can roll it up. Why do we have to roll? You don't have to roll. You can just put it all, you know, you can make a big sandwich bread and put it in. But I want to roll because when you roll it, it gives the many different layers um, in, in the bread. So when you peel it, it gets really stringy and it look, it's really nice. So, so that's why we want to roll it flat so that we can roll, roll it up like a cinnamon roll. Okay, so then I'm going to roll it up like this. Pinch the side, pinch the bottom. Remember, you can roll back and forth to seal the seam, just like, um, just like baguette. We can do that. Then you want to put it in here. Okay, you wanted to put it in. So there's going to be four of them. We're going to do another one. I'm sure you could, I'm going to do another one of these. Roll it on. You can hear, you can hear the air bubble popping. We want to pop all the air bubbles so that we can redistribute the yeast. And 
then it'll become a softer bread. You want to make the width of this the width of your bread pan so that it'll fit. Now you can roll it up, roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. So and when you get to the end, pinch it, pinch it, pinch it. second row so you continue to do it to do that for your next two so after you finish rolling your four you put in the pan it looks like this so take notice of where the dough is in regards to, to, to the pan so in my pan is about half okay it's about half so you wanted to let it prove you want to let it prove no more than double. So you don't want a little under double is actually preferred. So you don't want it to make it go too high. So in this pan is probably when it rise up to the rim or just a tad bit above the rim, that would be good enough. Okay, so you want to cover it with, with plastic wrap. And then um, I have one right here. You want to cover it in plastic wrap and you want it to let it rest so that it can rise at to the point that you need it to okay so just leave it on the counter so this is how it looks after the second rise and so it's about at the rim of the um, pan and it's a little higher and it's okay so um so halfway through the middle rise i have already preheated the oven so the oven is at 360 right now so after you take it out if you want the top to be browner you have to brush it with egg wash and that is just egg and a little bit of water, maybe a teaspoon or so, up to a tablespoon of water. Just brush it on. If you don't brush it on, it's fine too. Oh. If you don't brush it on, it's fine too. It will brown. I don't know what this is. for about at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes or so. So here's our milk bread that came out of the oven. Um, it looks, it rose so high. Look at how puffy it is. The only thing that this, it doesn't look good is this particular, this section of the bread broke. And I think that's because when I rolled it, I was rolling it too thin. So next time I would need to roll it thicker so that it won't do this. Otherwise they all look like that. Okay, so so let's open it. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at look at the little look at all the Oh, look at how soft it is. Okay. Also, I'll put it here. I'll show you how soft it is. I can squeeze it. Squeeze it down. Well, it hasn't come back up yet, but it's supposed to come back up. <laughs> but it is very soft. Very soft. It's so pillowy soft. 